I thought I'd add in a couple of bits about dividing by quadratics, OK? This isn't technically in the exercise, um, but it is in year two, this skill. So I thought it'd be useful to just do some polynomial division for this. So the two that I wanted to have a look at, we're going to look at one of them to begin with. We're going to look at, we'll do two though, x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x minus 10 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 3. Pardon? You'll just be concentrating on the x squared bits. So when I write this out, what do I need to be careful when I write it out? The zero x squared. So I'm going to have my x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus 0x squared plus x minus 10 divided by, am I going to have enough space? No. Let's just move this across so I have a bit more space. x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, if this thing didn't have an x, you would have to put a 0x there as well to remind you that there's going to be a 0x, OK? So just anywhere there's nothing, nothing there, say that there's nothing there. Now, I think you could just be able to do this one off the bat. I don't think there's anything that's different. It's just, just it's a bit more complicated. Yeah, so when you're going to do the division, you're going to put it up by here. So. You've got x to the power of 4. You always concentrate on the highest powers. x to the power of 4 divided by x squared is x squared. So you're just going to put that up here as x squared. Then you're going to multiply this by all of it by x squared. So you get x to the 4 plus 2x cubed minus 3x squared. So it's the same thing. You just subtract them. x to the 4 minus x4 goes. And then you're going to have x cubed minus 2x cubed which is minus x cubed, you're going to have plus 3x squared. And then remember, you bring down the x. Then you're just going to concentrate on this power, which is the minus x cubed divided by minus x squared is going to be minus x. And then you multiply everything by minus x. So you get minus x cubed minus, oh, right, minus 2x squared and then plus 3x. You've got to be careful because of the negative x that you have multiplying by everything there. And then when we subtract, 5x squared, 5x squared minus, 2x. minus 2x, and then you bring down the minus 10. And then 5, because the 5x squared divided by x squared is 5, multiply by 5, and you get 5x squared plus 10x minus 15. Minus 2 minus 10 is minus 12x. And then minus 10 minus minus 15 is 5. Do we keep going? No. So this time, the remainder is a linear. But that's because it's a quadratic. When it was a linear here, the remainder could have been a number. Because this is a quadratic, the remainder is allowed to be a linear. So if I was going to actually write the answer to this question, I'm going to be lazy and not write it again. It would be equal to x squared minus x plus 5. And then the remainder is minus 12x. I'm going to write it as minus 12x plus 5 over x squared plus 2x minus 3. That really is a bit. So you could write that in a number of different ways there. I've kind of put that a bit too close to all of the other working. So I'm going to write it in a different way as well. You could have written x squared minus x plus 5. Um, yeah, there's a plus here. So if you want to, you could bracket the top. Or you could rewrite the order and do 5 minus 12x over x squared plus 2x minus 3, because then it kind of flows in the right kind of order as well. But you can't put the minus down here. If you did put the minus down there, it would have to be a 12x minus 5, so that when you do the minus 12x, and then the minus minus 5, you get the plus 5. So does it feel that different? No. Not really. So this is the same thing that you'd be coming across if you were doing this in year two maths. So I'm not going to be setting you questions on this. You can just try one of them for practice for me in a second. Um, and I'm just going to give you one more example that we're going to try as well. So dividing by quadratics. Can I go on to the next bit? OK, so the next one that I was going to have a quick go at 
was this one, which is 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2. If you saw that question, what would you start to do, do you think? You could add a zero. We don't think we need to add a zero, so you'd do the bus stop. Wrong answer. So there's a trick question. I would just factorize, OK? Because actually, there's a, if I can factorize, remember, factorizing is your number one priority because it makes division easier. Because if you can factorize and cancel things out, then you don't even need to do long algebraic division. So let's factorize the bottom. What does the bottom factorize to? x plus 2, x plus 1. What do we think the top might factorize to? 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 2. 3x plus 1 and x plus 2. The x plus 2s cancel, and you get 3x plus 1 over x plus 1. We actually did this in exercise 7a when we did simplifying fractions. So I put this one here to remind you that just because we've now learned algebraic division, it doesn't mean that we just use algebraic division. You still need to use the skills from earlier on. You could do algebraic long division on this, but the key word would be long. Okay? It's going to take a lot longer, and you won't get something anywhere as neat as this. You will have to keep doing algebraic manipulation to it to make it look like this. Do you want to see what it would be like with algebraic long division? No. Yeah or no? I mean, I don't mind. No, okay, we're good. If you do, if you do want to try it, you won't get exactly this. You will get something that can be made to look like that. Because we know with algebraic long division, you're going to get a number, probably a 3, plus something else over the quadratic. You'll get your remainder. So it would look like this. You would need to then do some work to make it look like that kind of thing. Okay. So you already knew how to divide by quadratics. We didn't know how to do polynomial division with quadratics, but we actually did know how to do them with factorizing.